One of the advantages to shooting the DSLR for this class is actually being able to use detachable lenses. I'm going to talk to you about two lenses that you have available to you. So first off, before I show you how to change them, this is your zoom lens. The zoom lens uh, ends up giving you the ability to zoom in optically using the glass in here um, to get closer to objects. Your single lens on here, or your smaller lens on here, is 18 to 55 millimeters. This picks up at 55 millimeters and goes to 200. And that's simply the focal length from the, the focal point in the lens back to the sensor. This lens, when you get it out of the bag, has a sun shield on it that's turned backwards for storage just to make it a little bit smaller. You're gonna actually twist that off. It'll only twist in one direction, lift straight off. You turn it around and put it right back on. Obviously you gotta mess around till it fits on and then it should click on. That sun shield helps to keep light from coming in um, at different angles and, and actually contaminating the image. It also is a very nice protecting uh, device for if you were to drop the camera or the lens, it'll shatter this. These are a lot cheaper to replace than the lens. The other thing that this lens has on it is it has an actual secondary lens cap, which is for the back lenses. All right, that would stay on while it's being transported around. When you go to put it on the camera, it'll take it off, and I'll show you that here in a second. To remove your lens on the front of the camera is the lens release button. You press that in, and then the lens bayonets off. It'll only turn in one direction. You turn it till it won't turn anymore, and it comes straight off. I put that lens down, and again, when you're doing this, make sure the camera's off so you don't hurt any of the sensors. I take this lens cap off, put it right on the other lens right away, get in the habit of doing that so you're protecting that lens. The big lens, when you go to put it on, has a little white dot on the side here. There's a white dot on the front of the camera. And you simply align those two things up, twist until the lens clicks on, and now you have your big lens on the camera. To take it off, again, just repeat the process. I simply turn that off. Take the cap off here, put it back on there. Find the white dot, line the white dots up. Twist it on until it clicks. That's changing lenses. You have the advantage with these cameras of actually um, not having to use the internal flash. When you have your camera in um, a manual mode or in an automatic mode, uh, the flash may need to be deployed here. If you don't have a big flash like this, this little flash is extremely powerful and it can give you red eye. When we go to a bigger flash like this, the more professional flash, it actually allows us to angle um, the, the flash in multiple directions, left and right, but also up and down. Um, and when you're using these, you have what we call a diffuser. When you're using these, you have what we call a diffuser, which is this clear plastic. It actually spreads the light out a little bit more when it comes off the flash. But it also, if I pull this out a second time, um, has a bounce card on it, which means I can have the, the, the flash pointed straight up. It'll bounce some of the light off the ceiling, but it'll also um, bounce light off of this, so it gives you a less harsh um, flash. To attach these on your Nikon, there is actually a hot shoe cover. You would slide that out of the hot shoe, and now you have this shoe uh, to plug your flash into. This red part goes in the front. I simply put the flash in the hot shoe, I slide it in. And then on the back side here, there's actually a locking button. You push that in and you'll feel it click. You'll also hear it click. And that's actually keeping this from being able to slide out. To take this off, you're gonna pinch on the sides here. That lock will automatically pop out and then you can slide the flash back off. And then you would just put your shoe cover back in. If you're interested in using the flash, I'll talk with you more on an individual basis about that.